Kelly Shop and this is HGTV Handmade and I'm on all week doing really fun DIY tutorials and recipes. And today we are making a DIY bookshelf with Henry. We are using old crates to make the bookshelf. These are crates that I got at my antique shop, but you could use crates that you get at the craft store. Um, you can use painted crates, whatever you want. These happen to be antiques. I think they're really cool and they go with my house. So I'm going to show you how to stack them up and add casters and make them into a bookshelf. What you're going to need is four crates. So these are about 24 inches wide. Any crate size will work. You just want to make sure that they're deep enough because you want to be able to put things inside the shelf. And you're going to need casters. These are two inch swiveling casters. I got two with locks and two without. You're going to need mending plates. I got three inches because that's the length I needed to connect my crates. If you had smaller crates, you might want to go down to a two inch, two and a half inch. I think three inch would fit everyone's crate. So you're going to need 12 of these. And you're going to need the flathead Phillips screws to put into the mending plates. I got three fourth inch screws, a ruler, and a drill. So what we're going to do is connect to all of these crates. So first thing first, let's stack them up. I'm actually gonna flip these over because it'll be easier to drill. So because these are old crates and there's nails everywhere, I pre-drilled my holes because they're kind of all over the place. But what you wanna do is line up where you're going to put the plate and your screws. And if they don't go in, you can use a hammer to tap them into place before you drill. All right, I have two stacked and now I'm going to add a third. If you wanted to leave it only too high, you could make a nightstand, you can make a smaller bookshelf, you could, you know, play around with the different sizes. I'm going to make mine four shelves high. All right, so everything is drilled together and we have a four shelf bookshelf now and I'm going to have to add the wheels. I'm going to add them to the bottom so the writing is going downwards. So we finished the shelf, took about 25, 30 minutes in real unedited time, just so you all know. And I'm going to flip this over. And that's it. This is my DIY rolling vintage crate bookshelf. If you like this video, please subscribe and make sure to give us a thumbs up and leave a comment below. If you have any questions, please ask. I'd be happy to answer them and I will see you guys next time.